if these two things are in balance, then we can go somewhere and also enjoy where we are. If you're fasting, you will be very conscious. One, two, three, four, by the time you come to nine, super conscious, isn't it? Put in the stomach, you forgot what Ratri it is. So, uh, to make you very conscious and also for a certain level of purification in the body, you're supposed to fast. In the making of a human being, the most important thing is that a human being blossoms into their full potential. So these nine days are about that and the tenth day is uh, Vijaya Dashmi, that means it's the day of victory, that means you blossomed full on. Navaratri literally means nine nights. Every month, after the Nomon day or the Amavasya, after that, days are counted. Ninth day is called Navami. These nine days are considered feminine. Dasara is all about, in Karnataka it is about Chamundi, in Bengal it's about Durga, but essentially it's about the feminine goddess, the feminine divinity, because this quarter belongs to her. This quarter, northern hemisphere of the planet becomes gentle because it receives the least amount of sunlight from now onwards. So everything becomes subdued and feminine. It's not on in a big way like that. See, the worship of the feminine was prevalent right across the planet at one time. But uh, unfortunately, certain very ambitious approach to even religion, like with everything else, Conquest became the mold. When conquest became the mold, they burned the feminine out of the planet. We made it like masculine is the only way to be successful. And uh, we have compelled even women to become very masculine today in their attitude and approach and emotion and thought because somewhere we have made everybody understand masculine is the only way to success, conquest is the way. Conquest is not the way, to embrace is the way. You're trying to conquer the planet, that's what has led to all the disaster. If feminine was more dominant factor or at least evenly balanced, I don't think you would have any ecological disaster because feminine and earth worship came together, always. Those cultures which looked upon earth as mother and was in a worshipful attitude towards that, they never caused too much damage to the environment around them. Only those who saw conquest as a way of life, that is where this happened. After doing all this damage to the planet, still half the people cannot even eat properly. There is enough food on the planet, but half the people cannot eat properly. If feminine was dominant, the population would eat for sure. If feminine was dominant, compassion and love and aesthetics would be dominant, not conquest. If feminine found a better expression on this planet, maybe our stock market will not far hit twenty thousand, but generally people will smile more, be a little more happy, a little more loving. Life will be a little more beautiful, which is essentially what we want, isn't it? After all, it's in pursuit of human well-being, all these things are done. But that's completely being forgotten, because that is the way of the ma masculine. That it just goes on in one way. The feminine is not trying to go anywhere. Feminine is happy where it is. That's the big difference. If these two things are in balance, then we can go somewhere and also enjoy where we are. That's what needs to happen in the world.